Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, I am Sei, a fellow Love Nikki and Shining Nikki player and I'm here to teach you little tips and tricks about the game, hopefully guide you through both of them, help you manage your diamonds and just, you know, have some fun. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe, it would help me a lot and hit the bell notification button to not miss any of the future uploads. I already mentioned in my previous video, but I am holding little weekly competitions in my Discord server. They are either Starry Corridor or Outfit competitions, and the winners are going to be featured in my videos. So the winner of the first week and the first theme, The Last Dance, is none other than Silica Pina. This is a wonderful entry, congratulations! So yes, the winners are going to be decided by you guys, and not me, so by the amount of votes. Silica also has a YouTube channel on which she makes really useful content, so make sure to go subscribe to her. Arcane Astrolab, or whatever that's pronounced, or as we collectively like to call it, Four Storms, has finally made a return, and you guys have wanted me to tell you whether or not I think these suits are still worth it, so let's get into the game and talk about them. As far as this event goes, on the very first run, I only decided that I'm going to get one suit, and the suit that I decided to get was a vet. So this is the only suit that I have have from this whole event and I didn't really want to complete the others and I'm not gonna complete them this time around either so let's just go ahead and talk about them. Before we do that I just want to make like one or two more pulls in this event because I am kind of hoping for maybe the dress or something. I pulled like five times as you can see down here and I want to see if I can get a new item. If it's a dupe right away, I am exiting this event forever and ever and ever and I'm never coming back. So okay, let's go ahead and do this and see if I can get anything new but who knows. Yeah, it's a new item, but it's stupid earrings. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Just one more. And then we are heading to break these down and talk about why I pretty much skipped this event. And okay, I got two new items, but we are leaving it there. I really don't think that I should complete this because it's really not worth it. The only time that I ever wished I had this suit was when we had like a spider lady themed competition and there's not a single spider themed thing I have in my whole wardrobe. Let's begin with the suit that I own and that is Yvette. So let's just remove everything. Her hair is one of my favorite parts of her and the part that I use probably the most in my styling. The pose is very unnecessary. I don't use it, I've never used it in my life, and I don't think I'll ever use it. So yeah, and here is the ground item. I really like this item though. It's super cool, there's like a little fire and some roses attached to it. Do I use it? Not really, but it's pretty. And this is super nice. I have used this, especially in some competition themes that require like these ethereal types of suits. This was really nice. And here is her veil, which is also very pretty. The earrings, the giant cross, which I've yet to use as well, but it's also a very cool item. And her makeup, which is, again, along with the hair, my favorite part of her. This is such a beautiful, such a gentle looking makeup, and I just love it. Oh my gosh, this suit looks so messy. Just take a look at this. Doesn't this look like Momo just suggested you a bunch of different items? during one of your stages and you just put it all on and you look like absolute piece of trash that's how this one looks like but her pieces separately are very stunning so this is the hair it's super nice i love it and the dress so this dress alone is very pretty i really like it so much it's beautiful i love the colors and all so yeah and the shoes are stunning i have used these shoes many times here's the unposed veil which is cute, I like it. And again, the earrings and her necklace. I really love the necklace. Let's see it with the dress. Yeah, I don't like it that much. I think this dress doesn't need a necklace because it has, it, it kind of has like a necklace of its own. So anything additional is just gonna make it look like a giant mess. 
And here are the gloves. Again, the gloves paired with the dress just look really messy, but the gloves on its own are very beautiful and I've used them so many times, especially paired with that uh, swan dress, the white dress that we have. I might put a picture up here if I remember during editing. So yeah, it's, it's very nice. And here is the sword, which is super cute. I wish that it was movable so that we could use it in the free dressing, but sadly it is not. And we have already seen these items. And the last one is this waist item, which I don't really use. But I'm glad that it's separate from the dress. So originally this was a part of the dress and the players rebelled, so it got separated. So that's really nice. Okay, so we're taking a look at the other suits now from the gallery because I do not own them. This is the hair, which looks very similar to the Miracle Concert hair that we have. Again, picture up here. So yeah, I don't really feel the need to have this one. It's pretty though, it's super long and nice, but I don't know, it's nothing that spectacular. This pose is so, so messy again. I'm not a big fan of it at all. I know that a lot of people love this suit. This is most of the people's favorite one. I don't see it. Personally, I don't see the hype, but yeah, I do prefer her normal pose, but we're gonna get into that in a bit. So here are the pose earrings that I've just gotten earlier. The chandelier is the best part of her. I do like this item. I think it can be very useful in the competition, but mostly in Starry Corridor. It's gigantic, but you can make it smaller with the size scale on the screen that appears. And of course her makeup. I love her makeup though. I love all of these makeups that have dark colored lips, so this one's not an exception. Taking a look at the unposed version, we can see that I didn't end up getting a single item that I wanted as it usually goes with these pavilions. They can for some reason read our minds and just not give us anything we want. But this is the unposed hair. I guess pretty underwhelming, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of this hair. I do however love this dress in the unposed version. It's so beautiful and it is one of the most beautiful parts of this whole hell event, which is why I really wanted to pull it earlier on. But no, I got some earrings and some stockings, which I didn't even want. But this dress is absolutely gorgeous. It is spider themed, which is one of the reasons why I don't think it's that versatile. It was for that one competition, which I'm never gonna forget because that was the only time that I didn't have anything relating to the competition theme. I'm so salty about that. <laughs> but yes, this is a beautiful dress nonetheless. I do have these hosiery and they are beautiful and I've used them a couple of times. I did. Actually, that was a leglet. These are hosiery. And I've just gotten these, so I haven't used them yet. They are very pretty, again, but it's just the spider theme thing that doesn't really seem like it's gonna be asked to be ever used. Again, the shoes, and this is the necklace. I don't really see anything interesting about it. I have no idea what this is supposed to- it's like a fan, I think. Is it? I have no idea. It's probably a fan that you can like spread and like cool herself with. These gloves I have used. I've used them multiple times when I was styling my dark mermaids and stuff. So this is this is a very cool item. These wings I don't like and I cannot express how much I hate these and I'm gonna explain why. So warning, if you hate bugs and if you hate spiders and stuff like that, just skip this part. But this is gonna sound weird. I have a huge phobia of dead bugs. Like, I don't mind live bugs, but if I see a dead bug, I'm gonna freak out. There's just something about their, like, broken, tangled legs that just... Ugh, I cannot. I'm sorry. And these wings just look like broken spider legs. And I am just getting goosebumps looking at this item. No, I don't want to have it. I just don't. I'm sorry. I hate it so much. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so this is the waist item. It's very pretty. It's on our back. It's barely visible because of so much that's going on. And that seems to be a theme with this whole hell event. Is that the suits look so messy, but when broken down, all of their pieces individually are pretty nice. Mine is those wings. I hate those wings. But yes, we already taken a look at the chandelier and the makeup. Okay, mink suit. So when this event was first announced, I have a feeling that the suit was the most popular and I've seen people talking about it 
everywhere and it was my favorite too at first but then I just stopped for a moment and broke it down into a few pieces and I realized that I was never gonna use the suit and I just didn't get it. I did a few pulls, you can see I have four parts of it. I don't think I've gotten anything interesting but we are gonna take a look at it. So this is the hair which is cute, I do like it, it's all over the place. <laughs> But yes, it's a pretty hair, probably one of the prettiest parts of her. So this is the pose, again, a very messy pose, and I do wish that the tails were not attached to it, would have made it a lot more versatile. But yeah, so this is the pose. It is pretty big, like it is going everywhere. Do you see how gigantic this pose is? Like, you can't stop scrolling and it's it still goes, it still goes, it's huge. I don't really feel the need to use it. I have never caught myself wishing that I've completed the suit. It's stunning though, don't get me wrong, this is a stunning suit. But I just personally, personally <laughs> don't feel the need to have it. And here are the backdrops. Let's just take a look at the fact that they're off screen. And I don't even know where's the other one. Yeah, they're both off screen. So. This item is only useful in the Starry Corridor because otherwise it's not visible, so that's something you want to keep in mind. Here's the fox. I like this item though. I think it's very pretty and I think that this item can be used in the corridor to create like blue flames and cool effects. So yeah, I do like this item and I wish that I had it, for sure. This is another partially off-screen item because... Yeah, so this is very far down the screen, but we can see that it has more of these like blue little thingies and they are visible. So it's it's a pretty item if you want to play with the effects in the corridor. Other than that, not really. So this is a tattoo between her brows. It's pretty. I've used it, especially on my mermaids, and I really like it. Her makeup is gorgeous. I do wish I had it. I really do. Okay, here we are at the normal pose and these are the items that I have wound up with. And the best part, the absolute best part of this suit is the skin that she has. So she comes with a new skin and I was lucky enough to pull it in those four pulls that I did. So I really, really, really love this item. It is so unique. I really love the little like, how do you call it? Like metallic stuff in her joints. They're so nice. So yes, the suit has a new skin, so that's one giant plus for it, but let's move on. So this is the unposed hair, which looks kind of similar to the posed one. I like white hairs a lot, so this hair is very pretty, like I don't have anything negative to say about it. Here's the dress. Another, another thing about this whole event is that their <laughs> unposed versions are all better than the posed ones. Every single suit, I hate the posed ones, but I love the unposed. So yeah, it's the same with this one. I really love this dress. It looks so ethereal, so magic. I would like to have it, but not enough to splurge a lot of diamonds into it. Don't really like the shoes, to be honest. Like I said, the off-screen accessory, the beautiful fox, which I do wish I had, another partially off-screen accessory, and I do have this item. I don't really use it though. It's very pretty and it can be useful for some competition themes, but I haven't really had an opportunity or even a reason to use it. And I've already talked about this item. I think it's very beautiful. And her earrings and of course the tail. So this is a beautiful item too. I do really wish that I could have it. It is stunning. It's one of the prettiest parts of her though. Let's just check at how giant the tails are and all of the directions that they go in. So yeah, I really do, I do want this item. But again, I have to keep saving because True Road is right around the corner and again, the very stunning makeup. And last but not least, we have this suit and I only have one item from this suit and the funny story is that I only like one item of this suit and that is the crown. And I did one pull and I got the crown on my first pull and I just ran away from it. So that's the only reason why this is the only suit where there's only one pull, while in the other ones I did a couple of pulls because I was trying to get the items that I liked. But here I just got the only item that I wanted on my first pull and I left. So let's talk about this. This hair, it's like I said, I do love all of these hairs that float around in the wind, but I feel like this one just isn't too... it's not special enough. But yes, so another very, very messy, very, very large pose. 
and it, she kind of looks awkward. Like, I have no idea how she's posed like this, but she looks very awkward though. Again, this is another one of the suits where it's so messy altogether, but when you break it down, it actually starts making some amount of sense. And this is the giant backdrop. It this There's nothing bad to say about this item, okay? This is a very beautiful item. It's super useful in the corridor, in the competition. I don't have it, but I, like I said, <sighs> These, these are just not compelling enough for me to want to splurge all of my diamonds into it. So clearly, I do not own these suits, but I never really caught myself wishing that I did. The only one time that I wished I had something from this event, as I already said, was when we had the spider competition and I caught myself wishing that I had that spider dress, but other than that, I never ever regretted not getting these. If anything, I was really thankful that I had the courage to just save my diamonds at the time. It's a pretty makeup, a very determined looking makeup. I love her eyes, I think she's very stunning, and this is the beautiful crown. It's so gorgeous, I really really love this item. Like even to this day, I use it if I'm making like my mermaids and stuff, it looks really well on them. And finally, the normal pose, this is the hair. I do like the little lighting on her hair, you can see like there's like a little blue lighting on it and I think that's a very nice touch, that's super stunning. I prefer this hair in the unposed version, this one I would definitely like to have, it's very pretty. So this is the dress, I'm not a big fan of it personally. I do like the details on it though, but yeah, and I'm not really a fan of these like wintry type of outfits, like winter slash soldier, I don't know. I like North usually, but this one is not not something that I would like, like to have. And this is a ground item, I think she's standing on it, we can see it. I don't think if it, I don't think it's movable though. I don't know, if it's movable you can write it down in the comments down below. I don't own it, so I can't check. And here are the boots. The crown we've already seen, the earrings, the necklace which is not visible because of the giant scarf, the gloves, they're pretty, and here is the beautiful sword. Now this is a stunning item. It is left handheld, we can see, here it is. It's pretty long, do you see how far this sword goes? It's so long. And this is, I don't know if it's like a wing, sometimes these types of items are wings, we can see it, it's like behind her head. And this is like a, I don't know, it reminds me of like a peacock tail, it's probably a tail like behind her. And we've seen the giant castle. So let's go on to like a short conclusion, even though I've already kind of told you how I feel about this event. So like I said, these suits are very pretty and they definitely catch you on that hype but they don't really seem like something you would need. I'm looking at this dress again. <laughs> I'm looking at this dress again, but like, you really don't. I have the suit, I've barely ever used it. I've used it sometimes just because I have it and because I think it's pretty, but like if I didn't have it, it wouldn't even cross my mind to use anything from it. Again, I do like the fox from this one. I love her tail, it's beautiful. And the giant backdrop, could definitely be useful in the corridor. This suit, probably my least favorite. I love her crown and the backdrop, like the giant castle. It is pretty cool, though it is. But I haven't found myself needing it, ever. I think it could be useful in the competition. You could definitely play with it in the corridor, even use it to make like either decorations or landscapes even and it even has like little castle towers so you can use it just for that purpose so that's super useful but other than that this is a very expensive hell event and you know true road is coming and at the end of the day you just have to think whether you like this or true road more because the prices are kind of similar this one is very expensive and so is true road so yeah and that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or future video idea suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. See you in the next video.